Hello friends, welcome back. We had earlier looked at uh, play, pause, stop and design mode and understood what are the implications of these. Uh, now in this set of video tutorial, we are going to look at what this debug uh, thing is all about and how we can uh, kind of look forward to debugging uh, various things. Debug by, uh, by its very nature, it means that uh, there are certain elements of errors and uh, you, if you may want to kind of uh, remove errors or identify errors, you can use certain tools. So this debug here essentially helps us in uh, you know identifying errors. So uh, we will be discussing what is step into, step over, step out and uh, you know what is watch or you know how what exactly would be a toggle breakpoint etc so the, these things we are going to discuss here so let's start so here in this uh, function which was within uh, the sheet 1 a we had this subroutine called sub a and uh, we had earlier written this uh, code with the end sub now uh, let's assume that uh, i just want to kind of introduce some complexity so as to explain these concepts in a bit more detail say for example you know I will be introducing a variable uh, if you are uh, unable to follow uh, why we are writing this please note that we will be discussing all these in a different um, video tutorial altogether but I'm just writing some specific codes uh, and I'll literally explain you what this means uh, I'm writing this as dim x as integer so this is basically a syntax which defines x as an integer so uh, uh, this is the way you know uh, you can define integer within uh, the visual basic editor and likewise i would also like to look at dim y as integer okay so there are two variables which we have defined x and y both of them as integers okay I'm just doing and writing some of the aspects of code. Uh, let's say x is equal to whatever we had here, cell one one dot value. So whatever is the value of the cell one one that will go in this variable as x. Okay, and uh, let me define x as x plus thousand and cells again that same. Uh, cells one one dot value is equal to x so what have I done here essentially uh, I have just introduced a variable x which takes its initial value as uh, as 13,000 here for example and then x is incremented by 1000 so this new x would be the original x which is 13,000 plus 1000 that is it will become 14,000 and then cell one one dot value will be equal to fourteen thousand. So this code, three step code, is essentially nothing but this one liner which we have already written. So I'll remove this one liner for the moment and um, kind of go ahead and uh, use this code. So let me try and see if this works. Uh, let me play this and uh, look at the left hand side. You know it is now incremented by uh, one thousand. Let me play this again again 15,000 so this this code looks fine so this was with respect to X I would like to have a similar code for Y so I'll just copy this code here control C and uh, paste it and instead of you know um, having these cells as uh, a1 which was cell 1 comma 1 I'll have or probably I'll choose this uh, cell which is 2 comma 1 this is row number 2 and column number 1 so this will be 2 comma 1 so I'll go back to the editor, name this variable as y, y is equal to cells 2 comma 1 and I'll write the same code, exactly the same code, instead of x variable this will be a y variable now and cells 2 comma 1 is equal to y. So and probably I would just change this y to y plus let's say you know 2. So what will happen is this will, is basically an incremental counter of 2 this is an incremental counter of 1000 so um, and uh, let me uh, delete uh, this and make it to 0 and uh, now I'll probably run this macro and see how it functions so the moment I click run you can see that you know the first x variable actually increments this by 1000 and the cell 2 comma 1 increments by 2 let me play it again so uh, this code looks to be 
perfect as such. Let us now uh, move to uh, what we actually wanted to understand. Uh, this is basically regarding the debug functions. So here, as you can see, this is something called step into here on the left hand side, the toggle breakpoint. Uh, uh, first, let us discuss what is the toggle breakpoint. And um, toggle breakpoint is nothing but a place where you want to kind of stop your code to run. Uh, let me show it for example, you know, here let's say uh, for my cursor is here in this line and I click here on the toggle breakpoint. Now what happens is this gets highlighted in red and uh, this essentially means that whenever I will run the code, the code will first run from the top till this line and if I press the run button again, then it will run the remaining part of the code. So let's see how this works. Uh, so for example, ideally, if this toggle point would not have been there, if I remove the toggle point uh, for the time being, ideally 5000 should move to 6000 and 10 should move to 12, right? So let me do that once, right? So that actually happens in sequence. But now I'll place a toggle point here in this Y. So and I'll press run. So what will happen is only the first one or the X variable will move and cell 11 will get updated. However, the second one will not get updated. Let's see how, how this works. So I'm clicking here on run. And as you can see, the first one gets updated and this is where it gets highlighted in yellow. This means that the code has actually stopped here. Now I can click here to continue. So I can also have this function F5. I'll click here to continue. And as you can see now that variable Y has also been updated. So let me do it again. Run. The first variable gets updated. I'll press the second button. Continue. And it, the second variable also gets updated. So this is how you know you can use this toggle or breakpoint. Okay. So